Hi everyone, it's Ender Kavanagh here and I thought I would share a new image with you that I've taken recently. It's, um, it's from an amazing place in the southwest of Ireland, it's called Ross Island and you've got this uh, wonderful forest there. Um, so I captured it at the beginning of, of May when you had the, the, the fresh foliage and you literally had meadows of, of wild garlic. So I love taking forest photos at, at that particular time of the year when you've got the fresh foliage because everything just looks so pure like you don't have dirt or dust on, on the leaves everything looks so fresh and everything is just so vibrant so um i knew there was a, a small um opportunity to to get down there with, with the weather um you really do need certain conditions to to, to photograph um a, a forest uh, like a rotational panoramic in this case um you know that you, you need like very little wind consistent light um and the, I, I think that the weather was quite mixed at that particular time this year. It's been, it's been a very windy year actually. Um, just I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but it's, it's for, for, in terms of, of photography, it's been a bit of a nightmare um, at times where, um, like even yesterday it was 26 degrees, but God almighty, the, the, the wind was unbelievable. Um, so basically this is a rotational panoramic and I just wanted to talk to you about it. So a rotational panoramic, is not a single image per se it's like you 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 put your camera on your on your tripod you ro you take a photograph or a series of photographs you rotate your camera um take a new series of images and you keep uh, sh rotating and shooting until you go as far as you want to go like you can go 360 degrees um as i do in some cases in this case i think i went about 150 degrees um because it was a 90 millimeter lens and I suppose that the longer the focal length um, the the thinner the image would become if you go to 360 degrees because like 360 degrees is 360 degrees but if you, as you as you go longer in the focal length you're you're in effect sort of you're, you're cropping in on the height if you know what I'm saying the, the length will always stay the same but the the height um, will just get get less and less so at some stage it doesn't doesn't look very nice if, 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 you, if you go to 360. So basically, if you can imagine, this, this, this image was taken with a phase one um, 100 megapixel digital back, incredible quality. It's, 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 it's been um, superseded now, you've got the, the, the 150 megapixel, but I mean, look, at, it's, it's, it's like the quality with this camera is incredible. And to be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't upgrade to the, the 150 uh, megapixel uh, camera because I think there's a lot of issues with it. Like you can't even, uh, take a capture remotely with an iPhone um, so I won't be upgrading for, for a while anyway um, so a single image would be just shy of a meter high on the long edge so if you can imagine that's a single image ballpark I, I just put a guide there but it's 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 not a million miles off that that'd be about a single image if you do a rotational panoramic that long edge becomes the short edge right so you're going to stitch you're gonna take all these images, you're gonna stitch them all together and you're gonna get this nice long uh, image. In this case, at 100%, that's without enlargement, you get an image that's over four meters wide at just short of a meter height, high, and that's a 300 PPI. Um, that has a, an incredible amount of detail. And then to make life even more challenging, I decided to focus stack. So focus stacking, um it's going to hide that focus stacking basically means you take an image at the nearest point and you calculate sort of you know what is your near point what is your far point and then you take a series of images between those two locations um again making sure there's an overlap you stitch them together um and sort of in, in this case i had to do that uh for 10 different positions so i mean i think it took me Jesus, it took me over two hours, I think, to, to, to take this photograph. It was really tight, quite time consuming because even, even then there was a li little bit of wind, so the, it was constantly waiting and shooting, waiting and shooting, but, but thankfully the, the light was consistent practically the entire day, so I was able to get away with that. So um, I just want to show you the level of detail in this, okay? So just looking at the navigator, we're just over 12%. I'm going to zoom in to 100%. And you're going to see the type of detail I'm talking about. So that's 100% uh, there, okay? 
Now, if I go to, uh, say, this tree here, for example, that's at 100%. In fact, I'm going to go to 200%, right? Now, I'm on a I'm on a 32-inch um, 8K monitor. I've, I've actually downsized it to, to, to 4K for, for this video, and I'm going to upload it at 4K onto YouTube. Um, now, I suppose YouTube will probably downsize it a little bit, so the quality, I'd say, won't be the same. Um, but I don't know, I'd say at the moment, you're, you're looking at an image that's probably about three meters high at the moment at 200%. So, like, just look at that. It's incredible, the level of detail in that. It's just like, the whole idea with, with, with this image is just to lose yourself in, in the detail and to lose yourself in the scene and to just, you know, I suppose, take you away um, from, from, from <laughs> the reality of, of your daily life and to just lose yourself in this, in this sort of beautiful, um, be beautiful image. Um, I really love it. I had a lot of time working on it it was ex it was probably like look i can actually see sunlight hitting cobwebs there um now th this is is at 200 percent. i mean that would be a crazy size um <laughs> like and that tree i don't know that tree was probably 10 meters away and i can see i can see cobwebs Anyway, that was uh, that's what I just wanted to show you. Yeah, so so I basically I was just saying there. I, I think I spent three days just prepping all of these images. You know, I, it was focus stacked, and then um, it was a real challenge. You know, because sometimes the leaves were moving and stuff, and and to make it completely seamless. I'm, I'm sure there'd probably be a, a couple of wee um, bloopers in, in there at some stage, um, and it's it's really when when I get to sort of print it that I then go back over the image like just to a real OCD level to just make sure that there's there's, there's no bloopers in it um, but basically you know the end result is like absolutely like a seamless uh, single image it, it just is incredible so I just wanted to share that with you today.